I think that's enough of that, don't you? <laughs> I'll get the game switched over. Give me one second. It's nearly ready. Mmm, arm camera. Right. This should fix it. <coughs> As I sneeze away my life savings. How are we all doing? I hope we're all doing well. Hello, Paulie. Good to see you again, as always. My stream manager just took a shit. There we go. So, if you remember, we got to the lab. Uh, we got to the lab. And we have to beat it without dying. As long as we can die in the bonus level. Yeet. Free life. That's thank you. Yeah, my, I just need to randomly get a sneeze. Oh, it's this fucking. Do you remember how much fun we had the last time I had to deal with this fucking? Mmm, fruit. Ah. Oh. I jumped past him. I jumped past him. That's a good start. Womp fruit. Exactly. We're also missing one of the gems, but I don't know which one we're missing. How can the door kill you? Okay. What's the what's the other level we're missing the gem on? Oh, it's lights out, which we can't actually complete yet. No wonder I was so confused. I was just like, where's my other gem? Uh, we can't get the lights out gem yet. Spikes. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Now I've got to do this fucking stupid jump again. There we go. We're getting better at doing that bonus level. I've just now got to do it without pissing dying. There we go. We finally jumped past him. Like I've been doing for the last, like, billion years.
Hey, anyway, we've hit a checkpoint, not that it's gonna matter. No! Really? I jumped past him, you motherfucker! I oh, know we're not even that far from the end either. That opens and closes on its own accord, but you can dodge dying there. <sighs> Them fucking electric dudes are just so stupid. Really shouldn't be dying there. I wouldn't even say this level is particularly taxing in terms of platforming. Oh, fuck's sake. Um. Okay. It's already falling apart. Ah. Uh. Bounce, bounce. So, to get the good ending, by the way, we have to get all the gems. We're only nine crates away from actually beating the level. Just about avoided him, Jesus. The first movie I actually own. I just need the other three. I don't think it's something I could watch in part. I need to try and collect the other, the other editions. But yeah, I've heard good things about the Persona 3 movies. Especially like the... Especially the second and fourth ones. I've heard great things about them. Can't say the same for number three though. I can't say I've heard great things about number three. God damn it. Right. It's so hard to time that jump. There we go.
It's the fact that we have to keep doing this pissing jump here all the time. We have to keep doing this, and it's not fun. Like, you have to keep jumping that one jump, and then waiting for everyone those three bouncy boxes. Kills the flow of the level. Just about made it. Got around him that time. And that's how you cheese that. Once I got reacquainted with that level, it was fine. The original badder boy. And that does mean now, I don't want to do the Great Hall. I want to go and pick up the last few gems we need. I say, the last few. Uh, the considerable amount we need. We could also, theoretically, go for both a relic and a gem run in this level, I think. So I'll show you why we need the yellow gem. Because believe it or not, to get the gem on this level, you need the yellow gem. And I'll show you why. I nearly lost my rhythm there. Oh, I can't jump there. Yeah, okay, that's a retry. I, let, I lost my rhythm. I lost my rhythm. There is a big ass storm here, so I might disappear. I wish I didn't check that when I was jumping. I hope you stay safe though, dude. Uh, that's killed me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's try this again. Relatively easy level to actually platinum relic as well. It's just timing jumps, basically. Timing spins, timing jumps, and just keeping with the flow. Just don't stop. It'll be good practice because once we get the gem for this, we can do the relic for this level. And lights out is relatively simple. I bet you can't guess how you get the platinum relic. Shit. I nearly forgot about that crate there. That picked up an early Aku Aku, I think that screwed us. Right. 
That's not actually that bad. There you go. There's the last colored gem. We can now complete every level. Ba -da -ba. Let's quickly save the game. So Lights Out also has a really easy Platinum Relic. I bet you can't guess how we do that. Because there's barely any time crates on this level. Yeah, there's barely any time crates on this level. I fucked up. But if you die with a time re time trial relic, uh. It's not the end of the world because you don't lose a life. There's very few time crates on this level, so the fastest way to actually beat it is you need. You, well, the only way to beat it is you need the yellow gem. That is the only way to get platinum. Everything else will get you gold. At best, everything else will get you gold at best. You need the platinum. You need the yellow gem to get the platinum relic here. Oh shit. That was a 40 missed time jump. Also, one of the very few le levels where you can't Invincible Akko Akko. Because he provides the light, so you can't actually Invincible Akko Akko your way through this level. Which is either a fun fact or a terrifying thought, depending on the sort of player you are. Um, Then the platinum ready for this is like one minute fifty. Pretty sure. Something like that. One minute twelve. There's something like that anyway. But as I mentioned, because there's so few time crates, there's not really many ways you can save time, you just have to keep running. Oh no, he's... Fuck me, that rat. I thought I killed him with the uh, the initial uh, thingy-mabob. I guess I hadn't. Shit. Yellow yeah, gem platform was right there as well. We nearly had that. We nearly had... That rat fucked us up. That's mildly annoying. What am I doing? That was a terrible missed time jump. Oh boy. It's easy on paper. You just gotta do it without... It's just timing your jumps with this level. Because the only way to beat the... Platinum wreck time is the gold... Gem platform. Yellow gem platform. Which, again, we only got in the lab. So... This level is a false, uh, is a false sense of security on this level. Oh my god, I jumped too early. Why am I struggling? I don't know if it's the depth, but has the depth perception changed on this game or is it just me? I think I'm tripping. I think I'm fucking tripping.
had PTSD from where that rat fucking did it last time. That's a leap of faith. Easy. Easy. Yeah, one minute six. That's the only way to get the platinum relic. That is the only way to get the platinum relic on that level. Anything else will be gold. Right. Whole hog should be a nice easy uh, platinum relic as well. He says he dies. Let's go. Again, this one's just timing. This one's all timing. Oh, shit. Misread that whole level. Through there. Under there, to the right, to the left, over, over. I should have figured it was to the left because of the fucking... <sighs> it is literally just reacquainting yourself with some levels, honestly. Oh. Through that. To the left, over. there, under here. To the right. That should be it. That should be it. There we go. Five out of 27 platinum relics. I didn't mean to load that save. We'll load this one and try again. Right, save. Fumbling in the dark is very similar to lights out. Just a bit harder. I reckon we could do boulder dash as well. I reckon we could do boulder dash. <laughs> he 
he says as he fucking dies. Put that up. I don't think that'll be platinum. I didn't realise there was a TNT thing there. Border Dash is a level where you're chased by your giant Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, I had a feeling when I finished that run, it wasn't platinum. I think it's because I fumbled it. 118-0, yeah. We got 1.3 seconds to find on that run. Go for the gem later. I want to see if I can get the relic before the gem here. That would be funny. Because the last few, uh... The last few crates and shit are on the purple gem platform. Shit, that ain't gonna be it now, is it? I made a small mistake. The music's a bop, though. I decided to jump to my death. Oh no! I think I know how to deal with that last, those last two crates. You gotta jump and spin the two uh, while running, and then the three should land down on top of the TNT and then blow up and stop the clock that way. I think that's what I did wrong. Yeah, it's literally all about efficiency. With the pattern where it runs. But at least these aren't taking too many attempts to do. I can't say the same for the other levels, like Sunset Vista or anything like that. There you go. What was it? I said it was a 108 something. No, 118, wasn't it? Easy. <laughs> Dino Dance. But there we go, that's the platform. Easy. You're getting live runs of how to beat these levels platinum style, guys. Let's save the game and go grab the gem.
that's the face I would make to Crash if I was being chased by a boulder. I also probably wouldn't be fast enough to outrun it. Let's go grab the jam. Can take our time this time. I don't have to. I don't have to do it against the clock. That's annoying. So we have no more colored gems to collect, by the way, guys. We have no more colored gems to collect, which means that all the levels now, we can basically die getting gems. Which ain't too bad. I like how this is also one of the very few, very few bonus lust levels. The other one... Obviously the hog ride ones being a couple of others. That boulder's awfully close. Piss off. over here get killed I guess okay so if we die technically well yeah the clock being that boulder so it reduces the amount of mistakes I can make but I can at least die which is more than can be said for the other fucking levels in this game That is a massive L, if I've ever had one. Thank god we got plenty of lives. I should theoretically be able to have over a hundred lives, but alas, I can't. Let's try not to die again. Yeah. There we go. Give me that gem, boy. Ba da ba. Yo, Lom, how's it going, buddy? 
We've finally got all the color gems we need, so now we can go on relic and gem runs. How nice is that? Here we go. Let's start with another easy level. Ish. Oh. Sorry, you're like. No worries. Shit, I lost my apple weapon. Well, welcome into the banter stream, where the banter is free and I am a skill issue. It's a wonderful trade-off, I know. No, uh, we're, we're on the gem runs now. We've got all the mandatory gems that we need to beat every other level. So, uh, uh, we're, we've got on all the mandatory gems that, well, every gem in this run is technically mandatory. Oh my god, that turtle got fucked! <laughs> That's great. Like, you know those big, like, spike things that move down on you very violently? Yeah, it just kind of squashed the turtle. Woman token. Whew! Eight, eight more. But, I know where they are. You don't want that finishing platform, you want this finishing platform. This is what this is what guys want. Th 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 this is what you pay for. RVN. Nice. I would do a Forza Team Wars, but like I I say a Forza Team Wars. I would say I would do Forza Team Wars, but So it's in the middle there. There we go. Oh, of course there's a bit more uh, platforming involved. Because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, I imagine you're meant to... You fucker. What did I do, Mamba? Please tell me what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Are we just doing like the alphabet starting from the letter G. I mean, I'm down. I died. Congratulations, you've experienced a Crash Bandicoot game. I figured there would have been like a live there or something. Oh, it's you, you little fucker. Go away. Oh! Oh! You can't get over there by normal means, so you have to destroy that box. But there is Wumper Fruit there if you want it. And that kind of, uh,. Takes you towards the end of the, the bullshit. No. 
while you were sat down there for god knows how fucking long, what was I meant to do? God damn it. Controlled by an inanimate object, I actually was. I, I got absolutely shrecked. No life there now, we kind of already got it. It's not great. It's just... I SPAN! Okay. Imagine being this bad at crash. Okay, let's see you do better, man, bro. Let's see you do better. <laughs> oh, God. Oh yeah, I don't see your name on any gem leaderboard. I don't see any of your name on any relic leaderboards, uh, Mamba. I think you're spouting a load of shite. I can smell that bullshit from here. You don't even live near me. I'm 33. Pensioner. Absolute pensioner. Also, I doubt you beat it on PS1. The PS1 version is. Nah, I. Load up your PS1, right? Like, get your PS1. Get your PS1. And fucking load your save data. I bet you it's not 104%. I can guarantee you it's not 104%. Hey, I'm 41. Yeah, but that's not exactly pensioner compared to, uh, to, to Mamba over there, is it? Really. Suddenly, I don't feel so old anymore. I don't do I. I got bonked onto the fucking spikes. Are you kidding me? Mate, I just did the levels and didn't have time to uh, grind the rest of it. I'm sure you didn't. To be fair, completing the levels is actually an achievement in and of itself, but 100%ing it. Because I've done all the levels now, technically, it's just, I'm going for a I'm going for completion, like actual completion, not pseudo. Fuck you. We don't want that finishing platform. We want to go over that. Ironically, the most 129%. I don't think that's doable, me. I think you're hacking. I think you've got a hack disc. I am. True. But you can't 129% crash bandicoot. This isn't crash 4.
Why are there so few crates? What the fuck? Game's telling me I've missed a crate somewhere. Wait, is it behind here? It's not behind there. Trousers, uh, black jeans. Where the fuck did I miss a crate? Uh, no I can't. I'm not that flexible. I'm gonna say, I don't think I remember missing any crates. I must have missed it in the main level then. I must have missed that crate in the last part of the level. Huh. Uh. If you drop a sub, yeah. I'll have a go. If you drop a sub. Because i got to get some out of this deal. I lost my Aku Aku privileges. I did. Still need to know where the fuck the uh. How did this man bonk me from his ass? We're near the end of the level again.
Yeah, I'm back to 30 out of 38. I'm so confused about where this last break could be. Got it! I thought I was missing something. I fucking thought I was missing something. Would anyone have guessed to have looked there? I sure wouldn't. If I didn't know any better, I probably would never have thought to have think like, oh, it's over there, behind the fucking wall. But there's a gap in that wall for the reason. I think I just missed it on my second run. I was like, I know there's a bit where you can run behind, and I had a feeling it was there. That should allow us to get the gem now. Hopefully. Shit. That was timing, that was all talent. Let's go! That's the great gate done. You'll also have to let me know when you want me to have a crack at, um... You'll also have to let me know when you want me to have a crack at, um... Stormy Ascent. and are trying to poach me are they actually like are they actually well downgrade Oh, fair. Squirrel! Oh, okay. Fair enough.
got to get them freebies, you know? <laughs> Fair enough. There's our magic blue gem that we need. And that's all it does. That is all that blue tra gem platform does. Literally takes us down to a pit. It takes us down to a pit. That also counts as killing us except when we're on that platform. Sure, whatever you say Crash Bandicoot. Whatever you fucking say. I'm missing a pissing Brio again? Where's the second Brio, man? Where is the second bro? I, I, I did. I did miss an embryo. Very good. I hate this fucking game. Y yes. Y yes, it was. It was hiding just there. The whole fucking time. It was the only place I could think of. I was like, I haven't actually done that properly. That was the only thing I could think of. It's just like, I haven't done that section properly yet. I haven't actually had to go and smash all those crates individually. And I'm glad I had the thought of trying to do that. Crash Bandicoot, everybody. Well, at least I won't need the, uh... Well, at least we can actually complete the level now. I also need to turn the light on, I think. It's getting dark in here. Right, let me go turn the light on. Tell you what, tell you what, when it gets a bit darker, we'll let, we'll save fumbling in the dark. We'll save the level fumbling in the dark when it's actually like full blown night time. And go from there. I don't want to see your hairline. No, I just got Donald, so we'll sue me for copyright infringement.
Mamba told me to say. Sounds like something Mamba would say. <laughs> We've nearly got all the gems in this game already, which means it'll just be relics after this. Let's have a, a crack at Jaws of Darkness. You know, that level that we love so much. Great start. And I'm fucking here for it. Fire heart, who'd have thunk it? Yeah, right. I did a fuck up. No point in trying to not restart because, like, the level doesn't matter. We can do this level without. We can complete this level with dying. So, obviously to beat the level we can't fucking die, but you get what I mean. Oh, oh take it easy, Paulie. Thanks for joining. Oh shit. I didn't realise that that moves back and like after the sort I didn't realise. Today I learned on Crash Bandicoot 1. Damn it. I actually don't think this level will be that bad to platinum relic, honestly. I actually don't think this level will be that bad to platinum relic.
What a stupid mistake. I still haven't reached a pissing checkpoint. I'm struggling that hard, I haven't even reached a single fucking checkpoint. That's mental, you know. Like, that is MC mental. Fucking bezin, mate. Have I cleaned my- I have made a star in the bedroom. I've made a star in the bedroom, I hope that makes you feel better. It's actually got room in the centre of it now. And I have some ideas for what I'd like to do with the place, but... Money is... Uh, a requirement, unfortunately. Krusty Socks game. What? Oh, Krusty Socks. I started this. I said that. Yeah. Uh, I'm very. I am big procrastinator, and I apologise if that upsets you. I know what my fuck up was. Damn. Fuck. What am I doing? Here we go. Why won't that crate blow up? That was weird. That crate wouldn't blow up.
Oh, that time it broke, but right under me, and then just sent me to my doom. Ah! It has my number. It does. I still don't know how to fucking deal with that jump. Um. Oh my god, we just cheesed that. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Really good start. Oh shit. I was not ready. I was not ready. Oh boy. Uh, that should be the gem. There we go. Let's go! I don't know why I did different to what I did last time, but whatever it was, it worked. I'll make you guys a deal. If someone drops a sub, um, we'll do Stormy Ascent until I beat it. Stormy Ascent is easily the hardest level in the game. It's DLC, uh, and I have not done any of it yet. And I'll do that after we've done this. Otherwise, we might start looking at some more relic runs. You fucking bastard.
I... <laughs> it's only optional. You don't have to. I can just save stop. When do you stop running, you fat fucker? Holy shit. There, he actually turned around there. That's actually a very upsetting fact. At least this one we can do without, uh... We can do this one without having to... Oh, yeah, this one's the fucking... You have to do some fucking maths. You have to do some fucking maths and shit with this one. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Fair. You know what? That's fair. I get karma to high high <laughs> shit hundred and fuck. Appreciated. If I can get an Aku Aku, that would be nice. Oh, is it because it's gem platform it won't let me Aku Aku? Literally putting myself up. It's Ogre Bogger. Who the fuck? What? I can't even read that. Completely illegible to me. Oh. Oh. Well, that answers my question of how do I beat that. Uh, Aku Waku. You mean Aku Waku. Read in some fanfics uh, a very long time ago, or overheard rather, that Aku Waku is related to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Which is like fucking wild, right? Like, there's no way Naughty Dog intended for that to be the case. Does Mamba have dyslexia? I wouldn't know. He doesn't seem like it. But fair play if you do, man. Your English is excellent. I know it can be quite difficult for some people as well. Oh, of course the fucking piggy sits down there. Oh, fair. Two more crates. And then that's road to nowhere done. So they're behind the finish line. 
which is fine. I only saw the one one through, and I didn't realise it was that close to where we, to where we were. There you go. Another gem down. Ninety percent. We're nearly there. What levels do we not have to jump? We don't have to jump for cortex power. We've not done fumbling in the dark, but I'm leaving that, especially for later in this stream, because you guys are so nicely. Thanks, Orc Orc. You saved me, Orc Orc. Backtracking is actually the worst. Jesus Christ, not did he jump scare me, he fucking turned around. That's bollocks. Nailed it. Oh, again! Brother. So, like, Aku Aku does nothing there because you just fall in the pit and die anyway. Yeah, I ain't falling. 
you know what, ignore everything I just said. That was all for nothing. There's literally no crates this side of the level. Apart from the fact you have to twat this twat here. Now I'm going to have to make my way back. At least I've got the camera on my side this time. Well, at least we know that once we get to the blue platform. At least we know once we get to the blue platform we'll be okay. So if I do die again, it's a skill issue. That takes us to the end of the level, pretty much. I think I've still got a backtrack. I'm pretty sure there's still some crates down here that I've missed. Yeah. We're back here. Okay, at least I don't, really, I don't need to go to that fucking poker room. We can do this, hit a checkpoint. And because I'm tired of spawning over there, I'm going to hit that checkpoint there and start running back towards the blue gem platform, which is just here. Obviously, we know how to deal with this bit now, so, you know, free orc orc for the occasion. Now, oh, my God. All I'm trying to do is work out if there's any crates that I'm missing. No. Okay. So we've only got to go through the blue gem platform and we can progress with the rest of the level. That's all I... Stop dying! That's all I needed to know. That's... Experimentation is the slice of life, uh, after all, with Crash Bandicoot. That's why you have lives. At least we know what we're doing now. So once we've done the blue gem route, I won't need to go back. Okay. That's good knowledge to have now. I just wish it wasn't so bloody difficult to begin with. <sighs> I'll take that. Oh my word. We should not have survived that. You are a... <sighs> Very annoying game. I swear. Oh boy. Right. 
Now I know what I'm doing. Famous last words, I know what I'm doing. I clearly don't know, do I? I believe you're dying. Yes, I, I I am very very slowly, but I am I am with you on that statement. I can concur. I concur that I am with you on that statement. I am most definitely that top down camera is ass. It's just behind. It's not directly top down. It's just behind. And every time I do this, I'm having to go through the fucking gem route again. Like every single fucking time. Go away, or. or. I am blaming the camera. Because I think I'm going to hit the crate in front and then I hit the one in front of that. It's, it's just annoying. I'm sure we're all bored of this song by now. Take me away, platform. Yoink. Oh, the one time I have a notification in front of me. I'm missing two. F I've done all that, and I'm missing two pissing crates. Really? Really? Oh, that's why I was missing the two fucking... I hate this fucking game. I hate this fucking Okay, now we're gonna have to go backwards through the blue death route. For, for fuck's sake. Not what I wanted. So I was right, there are boxes back here. And it's now a checkpoint crate. Great. Well, that makes me feel so much better about that discovery now, doesn't it? It's like, oh, now I can spawn further into the level and fucking get the two crates that I kept missing. On the proviso that I now backwards romp through this fucker. And I can't see the pissing camera. Like, where the fuck am I meant to go here? Yeah, you destroy your bridge back if you do that, but you get all of the... Oh my god, that was a leap of faith. That was a leap of faith. And I've got my Aku Aku. Okay. Okay. That, that should be it now. We should be able to complete the rest of this level as normal.
Oh my god, I forgot about that crate there as well. Fucker. Why is this thing moving like it's fucking Sonic the Hedgehog? You don't need to run so fast, bro. Thank God for the Yaku Waku. I only now have to do the fucking tight ass platforming again. Let's fucking go. Fuck this level. The amount of backtracking, that's insane. That's mental, mate. The amount of backtracking in that level. Okay, that's Cortex Power done. We've got Jaws of Darkness, we've done Castle Machinery, we've... I think that's nearly all the gems. We're missing four gems, what levels are we missing? Stormy Ascent. Stormy Ascent. Fumbling in the Dark. Native Fortress is one we were missing, wasn't it? I think we're missing Native Fortress. Yeah, let's go do that one. Skill. The skill to get both of them in one go. Skill. That was fucking skill right there, bro. Ain't no one telling me otherwise. Bonus level done. The grass is always green on the other side of the fence, you're telling me. If I could stop falling down, that would also be nice. God. Oh, there's an Akawaku mask there, I keep forgetting that.
Okay. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha! Oh, I'm fucking dying with laughter. Oh, so funny game. So fucking funny. I'm pissing myself. Oh my god. Take him right back down to where you started. But hey, that should be nearly all the crates now. We got the ones we were missing at least. I've got to do all that again. I didn't even hit a fucking checkpoint! Go the hell, gay. Try that again. I like how the game literally refuses to let you move, you just stay wherever you are stood on the platform. At least Crash seems happy about it. There we go. Let's go.
Ba da ba. Right. What's the other level we haven't done? Upstream, and then that actually just leaves fumbling in the dark. And it's night time ish. So we could go do that in a moment. Gotta to listen to one of the best bops of the fucking game, though. I think that's the yellow gem platform, I think. Okay, so running into the waterfall kills you. Got ya. I got you game. I got you video game. I see what you do. Come here, Leaf. It is literally a single crate as well. Under there. Oh, I guess there's some at the end as well, aren't there? Of course. I remember there's a gem platform at the end, you have to go around. Okay. Makes sense now. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. That's 22. Most of the crates are in the fucking bonus level. What the flip? Ah, oh, that level's not that deep. Damn. Okay, at least we spawn here. At least we spawn here. That's that's good. Um. We don't want that. We need these.
mood. This was Mamba's idea. He was like, do it authentically. I was like, okay. If you want authentic, I'll give you authentic. Did you ever think that the crates would be behind the fucking starting line? Well, today you learned. I very vividly remember this one having stuff behind the start, which is why I remember to check. There we go. We finally got past that bit. And then pissing died. Of course we did. Oh my god, I can't see that jump. Oh, I suppose I suppose you're meant to take Aku Aku with you. I suppose that would make sense, wouldn't it? Considering all the Aku Aku's back here. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Can't these walls? These walls are a legitimate nightmare. How has anyone expected to do this back in 1996? Back when the internet was ass. Oh my god! I'm so glad in the relic run I won't need to run back here. It's not a necessity in the relic run, thankfully. Because what's the point? Oh my god. I apologise if you can't see me, but this is what you guys wanted. You wanted the mood lighting. I don't even have any mood lighting. I wish I could. Oh, why did you slow down? You wet white. How we... Fucking hell. How we manage that, I don't know. By the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, we are cheesing this right now. What, what the fuck? We are cheesing the shit out of this level right now. And then I died. I don't... I don't think I deserve to really be that far in on that run. That we... Like, not the one we just did, but the one we did before. I don't think we deserve to be that far in. That's a leap of faith. Man. It's also going to be great. Great practice for when we have to do the relic run. Holy crap. 
Oh, wow! That's garbage. fuck am I doing? By the way guys, how well can you see me in this light? I don't imagine it's very well. I don't imagine. Piss off. I made that jump game. I made that jump game. can't see you except when the screen lights up so it is like the full-blown authentic experience that you wanted then yeah not to be able to see my beautiful face so you can watch me fail at Crash Bandicoot god knows how many times in a row there's a checkpoint thank god oh my god there's no Aku Aku for fucking ages oh my god how we got there I I don't like this. Oh, shit! Oh, there's an Aku Aku in the walkway. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, we can't take our sweet time with this level. There you go. Right. Light's going back on now. There you go. You, you had your run in darkness. Uh, theoretically now, we should be able to go to the Great Hall and beat that legit. Theoretically now. And that's the secret good ending. Papal sold the ruins of Cor Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a bigger tool shop on the island. <laughs> <laughs> After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the welcome received book through the eye of the vortex a study of rapid evolution and its consequences 
Koala Khan moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he's working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. <laughs> Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation station. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernatorial, gubernatorial campaign. After the dear appearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitro Freer rediscovered his first love, tending bar. So he became a bartender. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash forward his plans for evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. And there you go, you can now face Cortex. Theoretically. I think we leave it there, or do, yeah, I say we leave it there, it's been about two hours, it's been solid, uh, obviously we'll beat, we'll beat Cortex, we'll try Stormy Ascent, and then, go from there I think, but thanks for joining me on part three, part four, we'll, we could be on part, part four or five, probably, but yeah, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Thanks for joining, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.